Well, greetings, my uh, 0.99 millimeters of YouTube followers. Uh, this is just a very quick video uh, about the Sites Jeweling tool in response to some other videos uh, I've seen on YouTube, watchmaking videos, discussing the use of the Sites tool versus the Horia tool. And one of the common misconceptions about the Sites tool is that it doesn't do micrometer insertion the way that the Horia tool does and isn't as precise and the lever is clumsy and so on and so forth. Um, well, as, as some of you know, um, a lot of you know, but apparently some of you don't, the Sites tool actually does do micrometer insertion, and I'm going to show you how. Um, so the first thing you do is you remove the lever as such. And this is an older Sites set. The, the quality of this set is a lot higher than, at least with the pumps and pushers, um, the quality of this set is a lot higher than some of the new uh, Bergeon uh, sites stuff, um, at least from what I've seen um, and from what other people have seen. Now, this is the part you need to convert your sites tool to micrometer mode. Um, it's just a cap that replaces the, um, you know, the, the lever anvil cap. And then this is the thumb screw micrometer cap. And the way it works is you just screw it on. Now, um, and it, it's outer thread. Its outer thread here will engage the inner thread of the micrometer section. This um, works as basically an anvil to the top of the pusher. It does not attach directly to the pusher. It only pushes down on it. And this screw right here is used to adjust the depth of the inner part here, which is what rides on the pusher. And that allows you to use this screw to obtain any position you want to call zero. So if you want to set the micrometer to, you know, zero, um, and then uh, w with this screw, adjust the height exactly at the position that you want to call zero. Oh, my cat is, um, yes, okay, um, that happened. So um, anyway, without further ado, what you do is, don't worry about that screw for now, Just you just take this thumb, thumb screw thing here and you and you screw it on flush and now the sights tool will work just like the horia tool in that when you tighten the micrometer the plunger goes down and when you unscrew it the plunger goes up now one thing i have seen people do um that is uh probably not correct i mean you can do it if you want it's not going to hurt anything but i've seen folks take the spring out when they convert it to micrometer mode, um, not understanding that it's the spring that returns this up. There is nothing else to return the plunger up other than the spring. So it has to be nice and you know, nice and clean and running free like this uh, for that to work. Because as you see, this cap does not attach to the plunger. It only pushes the plunger down as you screw down with the micrometer. It does not pull the plunger up. That's what the spring is for. Um, one other thing is when you convert this to drill mode and um, a lot of folks, and, and there's nothing wrong with this other than risking losing the part, um, a lot of folks will take this out because there's a guide pin here that you cannot get this past because it's, it's the drill tool. It doesn't have a guide pin channel in it, obviously. You don't actually have to remove this. This little pin here is spring-loaded. You can grab it with a pair of good sharp tweezers and pull that little pin out as you insert the drill attachment and it'll just go past there. And you know, as soon as you pull this thing out, the pin's going to snap back in. So you you will have to, like, pull that little pin out every time you want to remove and reinsert that. But that might be easier and less risky than removing this and running the risk of losing it. And the little tiny spring there that's in there. So anyway, hope you all found this uh, useful. Uh, that is how to use the Sites tool um, as a Horia tool. And, and, you know, this is a very, very smooth... Um, and find thread on on this older version of the sites tool. You know, it goes to a hundredth of a millimeter, um, so it's finer thread than the standard Horia tool, which most of them are, I think are only a, a fiftieth of a of a millimeter rather than a hundredth. This is very smooth, no backlash. I mean, you know, no slop in it, no backlash. It, it, it works very very well. So. Um, I don't think there's any advantage that the Horia tool has over at least this generation of Sites tool, um, because the Sites tool does.
pretty much the same thing the Horia tool does in this mode. Plus, it gives you all of the drilling and, and chaton rejeweling options and things that you just, I mean, yeah, you can get those, I guess. Well, you can't get the drilling with the Horia tool, but anyway, um, still, it, matter of preference. But all the Horia fans need to stop saying that the Sites tool doesn't do micrometer, because it does. It does it in both directions.